Okay, baby's asleep. Let's sneak on in here, load up the sim, and just do one race. Are you tired of your midnight racing sessions leading to a screaming newborn? Check out the Camus C5, the baby-friendly racing wheel. It's really, really quiet. More on that later. Recently, I reviewed the 15 newton meter direct drive wheelbase from Camus, and honestly, for the price, it really impressed. It was lacking some refinement, but the power was there and it got the job done. Now, Camus has sent me the baby brother. This is the C5. If you have never used a sim racing wheel before, this just might be the absolute best way to get serious about decreasing your lap time. I'm Jesse, this is Bartman's Bits, and today we are looking at what might be one of the coolest pieces of sim tech I've ever seen. Let's start with construction. This is kind of the whole deal with this wheel. It's direct drive with five newton meters of torque. That is an incredible amount of torque considering that this also has five newton meters of torque. This pancake form factor makes it ideal for mounting on a desk, which you can do with the bundled table mount. Around back, there is a power connection. Those familiar know that this is an XT60 style connector. It provides 140 watts of power through a medium sized brick. You also have a USB connection to hook up to your computer. There is a fan connection uh, more on that fan later. Then below that, you've got two USB-C ports, one for your pedal and the other for handbrake or shifter or a combination of both. Now, the buttons are cheap, but effective. I was pretty harsh on the buttons for the DDWB and rightly so. They were spongy and took away from the overall quality of the product. The buttons on the C5 are much better. Clicky and solid and in positions that make sense. There's also plenty of them available. They aren't perfect though. And I did have a really hard time distinguishing between buttons when I was racing in VR. There's no clear definition between the button groups. And I really think this is something that Camus needs to work on. I know this is a budget wheel, but I mean, how much can a few higher quality buttons really cost? I do have to cut them a little slack though, because I'm sure with enough time behind the wheel, your fingers will start to remember where each of the buttons are. I've only been using this for a couple days, so I'm still fumbling around. On the back, there are two paddles that are uh, small. Like, really small. I'm not entirely sure why these couldn't be bigger. The wheel itself is small, which makes for reaching them a little easier, but putting more than one finger on these gets really crowded. Lucky for Camus, they are removable with a single screw, and we live in the golden age of 3D printing, so after a quick design session, I've printed out some new paddles. I will be sending this to Camus to see if they want to reconsider their initial design, and if they stick with the original, this design will be down in the description so you can print it yourself. Moving on, the wheel is solidly built and when attached to the table mount provides a really sturdy feel with zero flex. There are three sets of holes so you can mount this at different angles. Now it's a nice feature when using this on a stand like I did. One annoyance with the table mount is that the pads the screws press into don't stay put. This means you need to hold them in place as you tighten down on the table. This makes it more of a hassle when you're trying to move it out of the way when you're not driving as they'll inevitably fall off and you'll spend a significant amount of time figuring out where they rolled off to. This very clearly happened to me several times. Throw a little double-sided tape in there and you can screw it down and it should stay put the next time you loosen it up. A simple fix, but one that shouldn't really be necessary. The table mount houses the blower style cooling fan, which you guessed it, blows air into the back of the wheel bay. I have run this wheel during a decently long gaming session without this having to work too hard. It is also quiet enough that it can't be heard during racing. Now a major disadvantage to this setup is that you are stuck with this wheel. No quick disconnect here. The upside is that the wheel is pretty high quality. It's a bit small when you compare it to some of the rims from other manufacturers and even the one that comes with the larger Camus wheelbase. The young simmers out there will appreciate the size as my children have both confirmed. The size didn't have much impact on drivability, so this is mostly a personal preference. The C5 that I received did not come with a pedal set. And that was a good thing for me as I already have a CSL Elite set from Fanatec and a new set from Camus, which I'll be reviewing a little later. Now, I would recommend that you do the same as from what I'm hearing, the pedal set that comes bundled with this isn't all that great. The CSL pedal set isn't much more and you can upgrade it with a load cell kit something that will definitely improve your lap time. If you want to spend a little bit more money, then I can say my initial impressions of the pedal set from Camus is pretty good, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. So how does this thing feel? It doesn't have 15 Newton meters worth of torque to play with, but there is plenty enough that every bump and rut is felt. You aren't going to get the same resolution that you're going to get with the higher end wheels, but those also cost 
way more in the thousands of dollars. I have to remember the price of this when I'm reviewing it. And for that price, it's great. As I mentioned in the intro, it's really quiet. This is pretty standard for direct drive wheels, but when compared to geared or belt driven wheels, as you should for the price point that this sits at, it is much quieter. This is really useful for desk gaming as you may be in a dorm or a room with other people. So time to wrap this up. Canvas has really designed something outside of the box and I think it's a win. Sturdy construction, powerful and accurate feedback, and a price that makes it easily accessible. There are a couple of minor issues, but nothing that should stop everyone from taking a look at this wheel, especially if you've never owned one before. If you wanna check this out, head to the link in the description. You can also find my website down there where you can find all of my videos as well as some cool new t-shirts. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.